This picture was photographed at the Marine Corps base in San Diego, California. Here, equipped with the newest and finest of weapons, hardened to actual combat conditions under officers steeped in the traditions of their corps, the United States Marine today rightfully qualifies as the best fighting man on earth. Marines have fought through every generation, in every land and every clime, where Americans have been called upon to uphold their country's honor. It is to these men, to Marines everywhere, past and present, that this picture is dedicated, but more particularly to that immortal band of leathernecks who, when trapped on Wake Island in the early days of the present conflict and asked what they wanted, impudently and gloriously replied, send us more Japs. Man, look at this picture. It shows the first time American Marines were ever in a fight on foreign soil. And it was just four junior officers and 16 Marines and sailors against twice that many of those monkeys sailed into the harbor of Tripoli and taught those pirates of that day a lesson they've never forgotten. That's Stephen Decatur. He came within an inch of getting his head cut off. Yes, sir, he'd have been a goner sure if a Marine hadn't stuck out his neck and taken it for him. That's why we are called Leathernecks. I tell you to stand up. I know that knocking over one of those two by four wind jammers and clubbing a few pirates into the sea doesn't mean very much to you boys today, but what I'm getting at is that guy who stuck out his neck for Stephen Decatur. What'd you say his name was, Sergeant? Reuben James. Well, what's that got to do with it? He was a Marine, wasn't he? Oh, but his name wasn't Reuben James, sir. It was Daniel Frazier. How's that? Well, I know everybody thinks it was Reuben James, sir. The Navy even named a destroyer after him for it. But the doctor on the Enterprise said it was Daniel Frazier, and he ought to know because he treated him for two wounds on the head. Well, that's very interesting. Come here, son. <laughs> <laughs> What's your name? John Dent, sir. Where are you from, Mr. Dent? Chagorda, Wyoming. And what book told you to go around shooting off your mouth, correcting your superiors, calling the Navy a liar? Who, me, sir? Where do you think you are, in junior high? Oh, but I didn't mean Nobody that. asked you what you meant. Besides, if you'd have read deep enough, you'd have learned that nobody cares what his name was. He was a Marine. That's enough. Yes, sir. Go back up there and sit down. One, one, <laughs> All right, men, come to attention. Stand up straight, put your heels together. Now, you're going to move in that direction. Face your right. That's not your right. You down there, turn around. All right, fire Try to keep some sort of step. starts its instructions tomorrow. You men have been sent here for training. If any of you are standing with your tongue in your cheek, feeling that your exceptional talents and non-combat activities will remove you from harm's way, get it out of your heads. There's no such animal as a non-combatant in the Marine Corps. Our methods of training may not be to your liking, intentionally so. But however unpleasant our methods are, they bring results. Because so far in 166 years of Marine Corps history, there's no record of failure. Officially, you are men and will be treated as such. There's no place for personalities in this business. You will adjust yourselves to conditions as you find them, whether you like it or not. You will learn to do what you are told, whether you like the manner of telling or not. To those of you who have always lived at home, this change is going to be a big one. If you start feeling sorry for yourselves, you're licked. Get up each morning with a feeling of confidence in your ability to take care of your share of trouble. Stay out of sick bay with minor or imaginary ailments because the Marine Corps doesn't run to the Navy for pampering. If you don't weaken, you'll leave this training center after a period of eight weeks with a self-confidence that will stand you in good stead for the rest of your lives. Remember that.
just saying, second nature to me. Come on, Dad, get in tempo. Keep your eyes on the instructor. Yes, sir. give you a string to put under your chin like your grandmother used to wear. Is that the way you're supposed to stand? What's the matter with you? You're tired? No, sir. Get that smile off your face, Winters. Work. Huh. I said very distinctly, port arms, not forward march. Yes, sir. I want all of you men to watch this platoon when it passes. They've only been at it a few weeks longer than you have. Sounds like a machine gun. Did you know that cutoff is supposed to be down? Keep your eyes in the front, Winners. Watch me. Foot, arms. Left shoulder, arms. Right shoulder, arms. Foot, arms. Present, arms. Foot, arms. Inspection, arms. Order, arms. See if you can get it right. Inspection, arms. That's better, Dent. You're pretty good, aren't you? Yes, sir. Very good. Port arms. My shoulder, arms. You men are moving into tents today, so pick yourselves a wife. That's all. Platoon, dismissed. 